How to feel at that plateau? Um, I don't know. It's it's kind of a surreal feeling. Um, it did take me eight years to get here, um, so I don't know how much uh, most guys do it in four. It took me eight. Um, I don't know. It feels great. Um, it feels great to do it on a win. Um, it feels great to do it on a postseason win, better yet, and a postseason win at home. Um, I've I've uh, my time at Utah Valley is is really been a, a joy. Um, it's been it's been a home for me. I came here right out of high school um, and have seen the growth and have seen the progress that this university has made and, and it's been um, incredible to be a part of it. Zach, down the stretch when it seemed like all of your teammates were pushing you to get that thousand point yeah. mark and Eastern at some times and seeing the reaction from your teammates on the bench just yeah. How did that make you feel once that ball dropped and knowing yeah. you had the mark and the way your teammates kind of went crazy? Right, right. So I, I found out, you know, after that Grand Canyon game, I found out I was a couple points short of a thousand. Um, and knowing that we had another game here, you know, it, it got brought up again that, hey, you know, you might be able to make this thing happen. Um, obviously, first and foremost, we want to win. Um, and it's, it's about winning here um, more than individual awards. Because um, I couldn't have done it without you know, teammates from 2010 pushing me to be better um, all the way on till now. Um, but yeah, just to see the joy in everybody else's faces, um, fans that have, that have been with me through the, the whole time, um, that's, that's what made it special. You know, it's, it's always special when you can share it with others. Talk about the game itself. I mean, they hung tough for a little while, but it just seemed like your length and speed just kind of yeah. wore them down. It was like, yeah, Kenneth, please join. Sorry. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> That's my bad. No, um, they're a really good team. Uh, they got they got the top scorer in the in Big Sky history. Um, incredible player, incredible touch, efficiency. Seems like he never misses. Um, and and they got surrounded him with shooters. Um, they're a really tough team, and. And if we didn't come out ready to fight, we would have lost easily. Um, but credit to our guys for, for coming out, even though you know it was, it was heartbreaking to lose in the WAC tournament. We had high expectations. Um, but to come out shows our, our character and, and our, our passion for the game. So credit to, to our guys. KO, we touched on the elephant in the room a little bit with Zach, the 1,000-point the mark. But I'm I'm pretty sure you were celebrating harder than him on that bench when he got when he when he hit that that layup there. Just what was going through your mind? I guess how excited were you when when kind of you knew what was coming? I guess. And, uh, you know, it's just for a guy like Zach that helps our team so much. That helps me personally so much in life. You know, I just, yeah, I guess I was happier than him when that happened. Yeah, because <laughs> man, you know, I love this guy and it's he's done so much for me. And so I was just happy for him. Not just on the court, but off the court. I think you two just barely finished the NBA program. Yeah, and you know, <laughs> and we lived together, and yeah, it's yeah. So yeah. Zach helped K through KO through those courses. <laughs> <laughs> you know, That's what I meant by that. <laughs> <laughs> he did it on his own. For sure. Zach, you're number seven. You know that. There's seven players in the history of UVU have a thousand points. Lucky seven. Baby. That's right. Cool. Heck yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Zach, how, how nice, you, you touched on this a little bit, but you guys have one more games at home. You've got a 14-game winning streak. How nice was it to just be able to reach the mark while winning another game yeah. in this building? You've spent a lot of time in here. Oh, yeah. I've spent uh, countless hours here. I've seen, I think, three different court changes <laughs> in terms of the design of the court from when I've been here till now. Um, and just to do it in front of our fans, I mean... That's, that's, really, that's really what I, I want to do tonight. I think I told Coach Pope at the end there, I don't know if he's going to put me in. I said, Coach, I just got five more. I want to, I want to do it in front, of, uh, in front of these guys, in front of this environment, um, because of what they've done for me throughout my career, how much they've supported me through uh, injuries, leaving, coming back on a mission. I mean, I, these, these, this, this community has really become my family. Um, and, and I wanted to to show my, my love and respect for them and uh, accomplish this together. Excuse me, together. I am 25. 